Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to show you some great sewing project ideas that you can make to give as Christmas gifts. But before I show them to you, I want to share with you that my only grandson, Parker, just had his first birthday. We were so excited and we wanted to have a big birthday party for him. By the way, his favorite present was the wrapping paper. We used Evite to create those really cute invitations to invite our friends and family to his birthday party. Evite has thousands of invitation options. It was so easy and fun to make the invitation. You just click on the type of celebration, the kind of design you want, or you can create your own special design. All our family and friends said that the invitation was so cute. I highly recommend using Evite for any celebrations that you have coming up. Go to evite.com slash the sewing room channel to choose from thousands of designs to create and send your own invitations for free. Again, the website address is evite.com slash the sewing room channel. Now let's take a look at those fun Christmas ideas. As I'm talking to you about all of these projects, keep in mind that I have tutorials on everything that you're seeing here. And to get to those links so you can view that tutorial, you want to scroll down below your YouTube screen, open up the description center, so expand it out, and you'll see all kinds of links listed below there. So just click on any one of them or all of them if you like. One of my favorite types of gift to give is something for the kitchen because people can always use that. I have many videos on different types of ideas for your kitchen, but here's just a few. Here is a matching pot holder and oven mitt. So you can make two oven mitts if you like and a pot holder or just the other way around or as many as you like. Or look at this, you can even make seasonal oven mitts. Like this is for Christmas, you could do it for Thanksgiving, Easter, patriotic holidays, birthdays, whatever. And then this I think is really cute. And it is a towel and pot holder set. So I use the fabric from this one into this one. And then also everybody could use a new toaster cover. And so here this is. Now this is one that's got a lot of detail in it, but I have some to wear. They're just very basic toaster covers. So if you have just a little bit of sewing experience, I have plenty of videos for you. Everyone can always use a new winter blanket. And this is a fleece blanket. It has two layers of fleece, a print on one side, and a solid color on the other. And this is a no-sew project. You've got little knots on here, what looks like knots, but they're not. They're much easier than tying those little knots. This is a really fast project. Here are some gift ideas for babies. You can always make a baby bib. This is a burp cloth made out of flannel. And then also, this is a baby's blanket that's also made out of flannel. Little girls love skirts that they can twirl in. This is a gathered skirt, two layer gather skirt. And this is a circle skirt with an elastic waistband. I also have many tutorials on children's aprons. This is a bib apron, and then I also have towel aprons. Tote bags are not only practical, but they're really fun to make. This is a little mini tote bag, just a few minutes to make this. And then here is a shoulder bag, and then this is a Japanese knot bag. I call this my little project bag because it's just lightweight and you can put your needlework in it and you can really put anything you want in it. Also, 
Here is a really adorable drawstring bag. It has this nice little decorative trim on it. And then many people really enjoy their large tote bags. Here are some easy sew clothing projects for adults. And some of it is you could make for children too. And that's this fleece hat. You can make it any size you want. You can also make a matching fleece scarf and you can make it any length that you like. And this is one of my favorites. This is a shawl you wrap around yourself and it's got pockets. And as you cross it over, you can put your hands in the pockets to keep yourself nice and warm. This is a poncho and it has one seam in it. A short one over on this side and then on this side. And you just pull it up over your head. This, these two seam sides fall over your shoulder and it's almost a one size fits all. This is my favorite apron project, this right here. But as you can see on each side of me, you can also make aprons for different holidays. This is a teddy bear that I used Christmas fabric on it because I always wanted to make a Christmas teddy bear. But you can make your teddy bear out of any fabric you like. You can make it seasonal or with children's prints on it, solid prints, anything that you like. Now don't forget the gift bags. These are for wine bottles. I also use them for uh, giving cooking oil, olive oil, specialty types of oils, and put them in these little bags. This is a small gift bag. Now these uh, gift bags have boxed shape bottoms on them. And they all have a little ribbon tie attached to it. And then there again, this is the small one. Here is a medium sized gift bag. Also has a box shaped bottom and there's also a little ribbon to close it up at the top. Now this is a super size gift bag. Remember you can make these as big as you want. Also has that box shaped bottom and then you can add a ribbon to tie it up at the top. If you know someone who likes to read, then give them a reading pillow. It has a pocket on the front of the pillow cover and you can put whatever book that you're reading or they're reading at the time. You can make them for adults and children. If you've been wanting to get into quilting, this is a super easy quilt and it's called a rag quilt and it's got all these raggedy seams so it's okay that your raw edges show. I've made them not only for young babies like this one but I've also made them for adults. You can make it out of just about any fabric that you like. If you have a little bit of sewing experience, maybe you've already made a simple rag quilt, you can graduate up to this. This is a panel quilt and what it is, it's a large piece of fabric in the middle that you purchase with a big print on it and you can add a border or not. These are really quick to make. Well, I hope I've inspired you to make some of these for Christmas gifts. Also, remember that the links to all of these tutorials are listed below your YouTube screen. So just scroll down, expand the descriptions section of this video, and you'll see all kinds of links listed. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and make sure you go and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.